Hi, this is Angela G with No Longer Lukewarm for Red Hot Christians and Wannabes. These videos are for people who like to listen while they're doing something else. If you'd prefer to read my blogs, you can find the link in the description box below. So this one is called Two Kinds of Testimonies. Are you telling yours? Eyewitness accounts are a powerful thing, especially today when fake news rules the day. It's one thing to read an article or even see a video. It's another thing completely when people you know and respect say something happened to them. For Christians, there are two types of testimonies. Both can go a long way toward evangelizing the lost, as well as giving hope and comfort to fellow believers. Testimonies of how Jesus saved us. Some testimonies are dramatic. In the Bible, the demoniac of Gadara went from a raving lunatic who cut himself and lived naked among the tombs to a man who was just in his right mind, devoted to Jesus and bent on telling his story to everyone. Jesus changed him and gave him a second chance at life. My story and many others have the same basic components. I was lost, hurting and hurting myself and hopeless until I met Jesus. He let me know that I'm not alone, changed me, and gave me a second chance to live for him. My testimony is about going from lukewarm to red hot after truly giving my life to God and being born again. You can look at that at my homepage. I used to live for myself, keeping Jesus in his Sunday box, but I was changed, and now he is my everything. I have a friend who used to be an alcoholic, one who was a drug addict, and one who was a prostitute. Jesus didn't leave us the way we were. He came for us and changed us and now we can give our testimonies to those who are lukewarm, alcoholic, drug addicted, or in sexual sin. Now think about your own story. Where were you before Jesus came for you? Can you find people like you were to engage for the cause of Christ? Jesus told the demoniac of Gadara to tell others about what Jesus had done for him. Luke 8.39 says, Return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you. And he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. Who could you encourage or empower with your testimony today? The testimonies of how he continues to work in our lives. After Jesus was resurrected, the Holy Spirit was given to all who believe on his name. Then as now, his sheep hear his voice, and he knows them, and they follow him. He manifests himself to believers by leading them to truth and giving them comfort and guidance. He's not a far-off God. He speaks to those who will listen. These interactions with God can be turned into testimonies. A testimony of love and comfort. One time I was coming out of the grocery store and I saw some birds in a puddle. The scripture from Matthew 10:29 to 31 popped into my mind. Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. When I got into my truck after putting my groceries in the back, a new song was just starting on the radio. It was Sparrows by Jason Gray. The chorus goes, You may feel alone, but you're not on your own. If he can hold the world, he can hold this moment. Not a field or flower escapes his notice. Even the sparrows knows he holds tomorrow. I thought that was a pretty neat little God wink and thanked him for speaking to me. But it wasn't for me. As soon as I got home, I checked into Facebook, and a sister in Christ was posting about how alone she felt, about how she thought no one cared, and maybe even God had forgotten her. I was able to immediately relay the story and verse to her to let her know that God is very much involved in our lives. She may not have had a puddle handy, but my experiences conveyed to her gave her hope. Every one of us has stories of times God has helped us or spoken to us in a way that gave us encouragement. Think about the times that Jesus has spoken to you and look for opportunities to inspire others with your stories. 1 Peter 3.15 says, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you. Your testimony is powerful. Our testimonies of conversion, as well as the times Jesus has shown up and shown out in our lives, can be a powerful tool for evangelism. They can even be used to uplift and strengthen the brethren as, as we tell of the many times God has helped us in our walk with Him. Your testimonies, your eyewitness accounts about the supernatural God who is who He says He is can make a difference in people's lives. Start looking for ways to give your testimony today.